How's it going everybody? Dorian here at Artisan Vapor Company San Antonio. We're checking out the new Terret Baby Kit by Vaporesso. Let's dive in and check it out. So when you first receive this device, it's going to look like this in its packaging. Terret Baby with the Energy SE tank. You got some uh, features on here. Vaporesso on the side. What's included on the back. Let's open it up. And there you have it. Here's your Terret Baby. That guy does 85 watts. It has a self-contained battery. Here's your Energy SE tank. It uses the Energy Core coils or your Baby Beast coils. And you have a spare glass and some extra O-rings. Let's go beneath this piece here. And in here, we have your spare coil, that's your energy core. It's actually the C-cell .5. And you have the USB rope cable. It's just a micro USB cable to charge the device. And then of course your user manuals and warranty cards in there. All right, so let's start with the tank here. Um, this is the Terra Baby tank that it comes with. Um, this is the Energy ST tank. The way this guy fills, you just unscrew this or pop the drip tip right out like that. It's just got a no ring and it kind of swivels out. And you can fill it there. You do have bottom adjustable airflow down here, so you just pinch the ring and turn. And the way you take this tank apart, it's as simple as just grabbing both metal ends and it comes apart. And there's your pre-installed mesh coil. You can see it is a 0.18 resistance. Glass comes right off. If you don't like the bubble glass and you want to use the other bubble glass it came with. <laughs> And the way the coil uh, comes out, you just unscrew. Just like that. Okay, so here's the Terret Baby itself. You can see it's, it's a pretty small device. That's the way it sits in my hand. But I'm a pretty big person, so you be the judge of that. Um, the way you turn this device on where the screen is is right here on the side. We're going to click the actual button here five times. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to see Vaporesso. And we'll go straight into wattage mode. You can see that the right button here will adjust up. The left button here will adjust down. You can see your battery life up there. The VWN means variable wattage normal. So that's the, your standard wattage mode. You got the resistance of your coils here, how many puffs you've ever taken on this device, volts, and the seconds you've been vaping on last. To get into the menu functions, oh that's right, it also has a clock here that you can set. But to get into the menu functions, um, you can press this button here and it'll say click three times. You can click three times and it'll get you right into the menu. Or you can just hold it and it'll bring you right here. So you know how I said uh, the VWN meant uh, variable wattage normal? Well, if we come over here, you see VWH, that means v, uh, variable wattage high. That means the ramp up time is going to be a little bit hotter. There, you, there's that standard VWN, which is the normal, and VWS, which is a soft. You also have CCW, which is a curve mode. That's like if you want to have your wattage set at a certain wattage and it drop throughout your duration of your vape you can. You have something called smart power which means you can build coils into a lower resistance range on that mode. Variable voltage if you want to go with the voltage. Um, 
you have the curve mode but in voltage version and then all of your temperature control modes right here and then one last one or a couple last ones you see an M1 and an M2 those are memory 1 and memory 2 so that those are like uh, presets for your wattage and then come over here you see BP that's bypass mode so if you have any experience with a mechanical mod it's going to work just like a mechanical mod um, but with safety features and to select any one of these uh, these modes here all you have to do is just hit the center button right here and it'll select it if you hit the fire button it'll just exit it out into the uh, original platform you were on let's hold it again when we go into the settings here I'll hold that we can set them as default time set brightness brightness is all the way up on there puff counter your theme so you can change your colors I personally like blue for all of y'all who know me I wear like a blue jacket every day and then there's your smart mode for your device on or off screen on or off and then your screen timeout you have your version here we're gonna click on that it's gonna tell you everything that's on board so you have the Omni 4.0 board with the version 1.01 1 .01. and then we're just gonna exit here and that brings us back into that smart power um, that we were using before so let's click hold this here go back to variable wattage normal and that's it guys let's go back up top and check it out one more time so that was the Terret Baby by Vaporesso. I've got a Baby Beast V1 screwed onto here if you want to hear how fast it ramps up or how it hits and just see for yourself. Um, this isn't the tank it comes with because unfortunately I can't put any juice into this one. Um, but you can see how fast it ramps up. The fire button is the same button as the screen right here. And don't forget this device does 80 watts but we're rocking the 60 watts right now. So you can see not too shabby let's take a pull and that is a great flavor I'm actually vaping right now this stuff um, this is nasty and G uh, nasty juice and kilos combination um, they came together and did a collaboration this is a juice by them called Dillinger. That's a watermelon honeydew menthol. Pretty awesome. Um, it's one of our best seller menthol juices here in the shop. So if you want to check that out, make sure to stop by or check out our website. But yeah, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our page, and we'll see you on the next one.